There's some communities in the United States that are just fascinating. And I'm actually in one of those communities, the first solar powered community in all of the United States. It actually survived Hurricane Ian pretty nicely, even though it was hit straight on. I'm gonna to tour the community, tell you all about it, and maybe this is gonna be a place for you to call your next home. So let's get right into this video. Babcock Ranch is in Southwest Florida in Southeastern Charlotte County and Northeastern Lee County. It is located in Florida's ecosystem of wetland and farmland, about 30 minutes to downtown Fort Myers, 40 minutes to Punta Gorda, and over one hour to Sarasota. Babcock Ranch sits in a rather remote area, which is probably chosen by design. So when you look at this building, this just went through a Cat 4 hurricane. Kitson and his partners purchased 91,000 acres in 2006, bigger than Manhattan, with a dream to build America's first environmentally friendly, hurricane-proof, fully sustainable small town. The town now runs on 700,000 solar panels. That's enough to power the town and even some surrounding areas. It's operated by Florida Power and Light on land donated by the developer. Of and today, about 5,000 people live in the community which is built 25 to 30 feet above sea level, a fact that is especially welcoming since Hurricane Ian. Once Babcock Ranch is fully developed, there will be more than 50,000 people living in the area. The center of town is known as Founders Square, a lakefront green space where people gather for fun, events, and concerts. It's also here you will find the Discovery Center, which is the starting place to get to know Babcock Ranch. Wi-Fi is available throughout Funner Square, and you can charge your devices in these cool looking trees, which also serve as public art, as you can tell. This year, you can also rent solar power golf carts to zoom around the community and just have fun. Founder Square is the downtown area where you'll have all the essentials, such as a restaurant, a health and wellness center, and a corner market. In addition, there's the hatchery, which is a co-working space where people go to to work and to collaborate. And there's also a coffee and ice cream store. Since Babcock Ranch is situated further inland in a remote area in Florida, I would say that the proposition fits best with those people who are retired or those that can work from home or can have a hybrid setup. And Babcock Ranch is certainly set up for remote work. As a matter of fact, every home has fiber optic connectivity, which provides residents with super fast lightning speed internet connection. If you already work from home, you know how important that is. The community is also working on a neighborhood app called Keylink, which will allow residents to rent amenities and way into the future, order autonomous vehicles to take them around town. And this may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie right now, but Babcock Ranch actually already tested out one of these autonomous school vehicles to take kids to school. So I'm sure there's so much more to come on this one. In Sid Kitson, city of the future, people leave their car in the garage and take rides in self-driving shuttle buses. How far away are we from being able to do that? I think it's a lot sooner than I think people actually understand. The neighborhood schools are within walking distance from the square. They were established in 2017 with the development of the Babcock Ranch community and follows Florida public based standards and curriculum. The focus is not surprisingly, green steam, with science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics being at the heart of the program from elementary all the way up to the high school years. So people who reside in this community truly live and breathe the idea of sustainable living. And that's the main reason why they moved to this community to begin with, for the most part. And that's what also binds this community together because of this one common belief system. And what I've heard a lot of parents say is that they don't really worry about the children's safety, especially when it comes to walking to school and back from school because it's such a tight-knit community. Everybody kind of knows each other and they're watching out for each other. I could definitely feel the sense of community and tranquility while I was there. Babcock Ranch is in phase one of development. There are eight neighborhoods that are currently selling homes and there's eight more to come soon. So no matter where you live in Babcock Ranch, you have access to the centrally located Founders Square, which is actually public space. But for residents only, you also get to use 
Lake Timber Lodge, which has a pool, playground, and a bathhouse, and the Cypress Lodge, which has a clubhouse, swimming pool, and lawn to play and relax in. So there are several places in the community for people, families, friends to meet and just have fun in. Home builders in Babcock Ranch include Lennar, Meritage, Pulte, D.R. Horton, Arthur Ruttenberg, Florida Lifestyle Homes, and Difco Homes. Luxury homes from Christopher Allen, Tall Brothers, and William Ryan are actually coming soon with the addition of the eight new neighborhoods. Each current neighborhood offers different lifestyle and living options. So for example, Babcock National is the golfing community with memberships only for residents. There you'll have options of living in a condo or single family homes. Edgewater and Edgewater Lakes are perfect for active families who are looking for single family homes that are really close to trails and parks. Now entry level single family homes in Babcock Ranch will start in the high 200,000s and can easily go into the millions depending on the neighborhood, builder, and layout of the home. Every structure in this community has to abide to the Florida Green Building Coalition standards and these guidelines promote eco-friendly building techniques and products to ensure homes are high performing in energy, water efficiency, and indoor air quality. Babcock Ranch is a place that is truly unique, no doubt, and very eco-friendly. But I have to say it's not gonna be for everyone. And here's the reason why. The closest city is about 30 minutes away, which is downtown Fort Myers. And it's also 30 minutes to the nearest hospital. To get in and out of Babcock Ranch, you will have to drive on remote streets and roads for miles, which are not lit up at night. And that is actually a bit eerie. There's nothing around you for miles, just wetlands and wildlife. Also, there are not a lot of options when it comes to shopping, food, drinks, entertainment, and healthcare. You have those options in Founders Square and in Crescent B Commons, which is a new shopping center a few minutes away from Founders Square, which has a Publix, so that's where people go shopping for groceries. There's a pizzeria, a Mexican restaurant, a postal store, a nail salon, and that's it. So I really like the proposition of this community. I think they're onto something great, especially as this community continues to grow. If you're someone that truly appreciates the fundamentals of green living and you want to be surrounded by like-minded people that feel just like you, they're passionate about this and you do not mind a remote setting with limited options when it comes to entertainment and healthcare, you may fall in love with Backcount Grand. As this community grows, purchasing a home is going to become more and more expensive. So if you're really interested in this community, getting in early will be much more affordable to you. I have very knowledgeable representatives in the area that would love to help you. So if you're interested in the community, reach out to me anytime and I'm going to make sure that you get the service that you deserve through this process. And for those of you that want to live in Southwest Florida, but you feel like you want to be closer to the beaches, and entertainment and healthcare. Watch one of these two videos here. One of them is on Welland Park, which is in Venice, and the other on Lakewood Ranch, which is in Bradenton and Sarasota. Both are master plan communities, very popular. If you want more information in regards to Sarasota, I have a Sarasota Insider's Guide, which I'm gonna to link to in the description section of this video. Now, thank you so much for tuning in today, watching this video, spending some time with me. I always appreciate when you do. Take care.